Jeff, I, obviously, ideally, you, you know, you'd love to walk away with the number one pick anytime you have one of these. But to, to keep your position, to, to walk away with the 11th overall pick, too, how, how much of a good position is the organization in a, after the draft lottery? I mean, that board looks pretty good to be 6 and 11, have two lottery picks. And uh, the greatest likelihood coming into tonight, uh, uh, you know, percentage wise, was that we would move back from six. So to hold six and add 11 is a good day for us. You know, your, your group has, you know, transformed with, you know, players from the draft lottery. You look at Franz at eight. You look at Paolo when you had the number one overall pick last year. How much can, can you know, what you find in a draft help propel this franchise to take another step? Uh, it's what we're doing. It's what we embarked upon a couple years ago. We, you know, we said we were going to build through the draft, and to have two lottery picks is exciting for us. Um, you know, now the hard work starts and the fun starts. We get to meet these guys that we've been tracking all year and talking about and watching on video. So to have them in and 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 kind of see like who's the right fit for us uh, will be like a really exciting process to go through as always. And it's also a lot of work. So we have to figure out. Um, for the architecture of our team, what 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 allows us to play the best basketball, what gives us the greatest upside, and, and how we move forward. You know, to just take us through a little bit of all that. I mean, a lot will go into decision making, looking at players that might fit in those spots. Do you package picks? Do you, do you, you know use some of those in a deal? Just how much decision making goes through that process over the next month or so? Yeah, well, it starts tomorrow. We'll all be in the gym tomorrow is the start of the combine. So we'll all be uh, butterflying around, talking to one another and trying to assess what other teams are trying to accomplish this this cycle. Um, and then obviously, like you get more information through the visits. And that's when that's when you really start to understand uh, how how uh, teams slot into their picks. And, and you know, like it, it'll be a, a ramp up and obviously the last week being the frenzied week. But the next few weeks will be kind of just accumulating information, meeting guys um, um, and and obviously cross cross pollinating with a lot of teams how, how does things change from a work standpoint or a process standpoint having you know two mid lottery picks versus you know having the topic last year uh, well the first part of it is it, it, it increases your workload because like we're gonna be able to get more kids in now you know we're, we're, we're kind of uh, cover a, a, a broader swath of the lottery so we can now bring in guys that maybe wouldn't have come for this pick or that pick. Um, so we will appeal to like a, a, a wider net, you know, for visits. Um, other than that, man, the work doesn't change. You know, we always go through the whole draft for any eventuality. We have to plan on trades and, and you know, I say, you know, planning on unpredictability and organizing chaos, that's the draft. So that's what the next month is for us. I mean, obviously, you know, you get a player like Paolo in the draft last year. You know, you mentioned Franz, you know, Jalen. Just how does drafting them maybe change what you look for future-wise in terms of picks, in terms of how they fit with your team? Yeah, uh, every time you add a player, especially a significant player, it changes the, the dynamics of your team. And now you're looking for something else. So with that, you also have to look at what the draft presents. So sometimes they don't always line up, and, and then you have to start to say, like, okay, like, well, how do we best move the team forward then? How does that feed into other conversations we're having? But the first, the first most important layer is getting to know the kids. Like we have to get to know the draft guys first before we can assess all that. 